go to google.com and you need to write here download java so this is the first link that you're gonna click on click on the first link and from here you can download java so downloading java is really simple it's like you're downloading any other software just click on the free down java download button and it will ask you for start free download of a java so click on this and it will it will download a exe file so you just simply need to run this exe file and java will be installed on your system so once the java is installed so you will you'll go to the program file you'll get this java folder and under this java folder you will see the two folders automatically generated the one is the jdk sorry jdk and the other one is jre so this these are the two folders that will be created once the java is installed on your system so now once the java is installed you need to set up some environment variables to support java you need to follow these steps so you right click on my computer and then click on properties so under the properties you need to click on advanced system settings and then you need to click on environment variables now <coughs> click on new under the system variable set the variable name as java home and set the variable value as the value where you have placed your java folder like i have placed my java folder under c drive so i'll set the value as i'll double click on this jdk and i'll set the variable value as this so i've already uh, configured the java home variable so it's it's showing under my system variables tray so i'll not gonna configure it but you need to follow this step to configure the java environment variable to support java make sure that you do these changes configuration very carefully otherwise it will damage your other running system programs so once we have these changes done now we need now we need to write some java code to make sure java is configured successfully